Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at Bright Path. And in episode 253, I'd like to talk about and re-emphasize the role of your human resources team in your crisis management process. It's impossible for me to overstate the importance of your HR function as a part of your crisis management process. If I was to think about all of my experiences in 30 years around crisis management, and consider which business teams, which support functions absolutely have to be at the table during a crisis. HR is one of those that rises to the top of this list along with your communications team and your physical security team and your information security team. HR has a pivotal role to play. Um, and it is important to consider that that overall role that crisis management plays for your organization in making sure that you have the human capital you need to accomplish your mission as an organization applies the same in a crisis. That effective crisis management will rely heavily on having a prepared and supported workforce and the HR capabilities to support that workforce in a crisis. When we're talking about crisis management, of course, we're talking about your organization's ability to anticipate and prepare for and respond to and recover from disruptions. Uh, it includes things like maintaining critical operations, protecting the team, and minimizing damage to your people, your assets, and your capabilities. HR plays a crucial role here. Um, they ensure that your team, your team members, the, your employees are supported and informed about what's going on. And that is crucial, of course, for effective crisis response. HR is also heavily involved, um, even before a crisis, in the communication, legal, and compliance matters that are important to make sure that you can maintain organizational stability during a crisis. In a lot of ways, HR is really part of the lifeline within your organization. It's almost thinking about, here's my bag of emergency supplies that I need to pull out uh, in a crisis, and in that bag is your HR team, because you need your HR team to help you with these things. Let's break this down a little more uh, in a little more detail by talking about before, during, and after a crisis. Before a crisis, your HR team should be working to develop communication plans uh, to how they will keep employees informed. This requires collaboration with your comms team, of course, uh, and making sure that you have access to employee data that might be necessary. For example, uh, how where is your team based? Like where where is their where do they live and reside? So that you can understand the impact of a disaster in those areas and what that means for your employees. Your HR team should be con creating contingency plans for their areas of responsibility. That might be payroll benefits, um, the HR labor legal compliance aspects of your organization. Um, Employee well-being and being able to understand if your employees are safe are an, is an important contingency plan and one that should be owned by your HR team. And then your HR team should be working within your crisis management function with your corporate crisis management team or your crisis management team, whatever you choose to call it, to address the HR challenges that are in front of the organization and bringing some of these preparedness issues to the table and participating in the discussions around other preparedness activities that the teams may be thinking through. During a crisis, HR's first role is to ensure the well-being of your team, of your employees, and making sure that you they can provide quick access to vital information and support programs for your team. In a large-scale natural disaster, for example, there will be a lot of local, state, and federal government aid available in most places to support impacted employees and their families. HR has an important role to play to understand those programs and help connect the team your team members, both to important capabilities you're offering, but also to those benefits and aid that might be available from government agencies. HR will likely manage your emergency notifications and they'll coordinate um, roll calls or well-being checks to ensure the status of your employees and understand the impacts of this crisis on them and their families. Um, they should be monitoring employee morale and providing updates back to the crisis management team about impacts on the team. And then they should facilitate, where necessary, briefings for impacted employees or their families if we're talking about some kind of mass casualty incident that has occurred in the workplace. When a crisis is over, they should continue to provide appropriate 
um, assistance and welfare to your impacted team, uh, your impacted employees and their families, and they should be able to have a process in place to provide access to crisis counseling, whether that's contracted directly or it's through your employee assistance program, your EAP program. But mental health is an important part of recovering from a crisis, and HR should be at the forefront of understanding those needs and facilitating that access. Again, it's important to have HR integrated into your crisis management framework. We would view that as one of your critical partners in your organization. Um, and I would encourage you to adopt proactive measures and think through in advance in that preparation stage on the things that you can do to support employee well-being and preparedness for your team for future crises. All of which is to say that HR is a critical part of your, of your crisis management capabilities. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.